well, what if our church community and the community where we live was one community? I really have a hunger for the Word and I'm good at speaking and so I, I would really like to reach my community that I've grown up in because there's no church around here and kind of give back and start a church here. So for me that's always been like the key motivator is how can we start something that can become our church community and, and have that be part of our neighborhood. Typically we gather on a weekday evening after the kids are in bed or if the kids are included we've been doing Saturday mornings. That's where we all get together with the kids and with everyone and try to make it a little bit more family family oriented and family focused so that everyone can be a part of that. And so there's about 15 of us, uh, young, young, young adults and older youth um, that come out and we do Bible studies every Thursday. Then we also do outreach in the community, so at the school over here. I think it allows us to put our focus here, like you said. The, the focus of caring about neighbors and relationships there is not so separate from um, church. Like I think in a lot of established churches, they, they just still talk about you know getting involved in your neighborhoods, but those aren't the people that you're worshiping with or uh, or like people that you're worshiping with are not there. Yeah, larger churches have this bizarre, they encourage congregants to get involved in their neighborhoods and then they try to be involved in the church's neighborhood. Most of the congregants are not part of that neighborhood and don't have a clue about that, that area. Over my lifetime being here, so 20 years about, I've seen maybe three churches in the, in the community. And I remember one specific church, you know, they came and they had a church, they had, they had a church, but everyone would drive in. There would be no outreach for the community. So we try to bring kids out actually to the congregation. And the pastor in front of his congregation stood up in front of everyone as we were bringing kids in and just called us out and said, you guys are not dressed the appropriate way to be here. You can't look like this. You guys need to leave the church. And from then, a lot of people was turned off by the church. But through Urban Promises, since they've been here for almost 15 years in the community, there's been a, an openness to learning more about Jesus. And so this community is very open. I think that being location-based, geographically based, is, is going to happen, needs to happen. Like that's how churches used to be. We're gonna move back to it, I think. We've used the phrase, like we've said when we share about it, we're experimenting. We were working on a vision for a while that was something about being neighbors who um, challenge each other to follow Jesus more closely. And then so right now in the summer we're just strictly focusing on those 15 to 20 people in the Bible studies group and then in the fall we're planning to open it up and hopefully have a location here where then we can kind of get everyone else in the community involved to come out because it's needed, the community wants it, and it's kind of already here. So, so we might as well do it. And you know, that's part of what I feel God has called me to do. And so I'm just responding to that call and to that hunger in my heart.